acetylene receptors, cholinergic receptors, are divided into two types, muscarinic receptors and nicotinic receptors, based on their selective activation by the alkaloids muscarine and nicotine. Muscarinic receptors are found in smooth muscle, cardiac tissue, and glands at parasympathetic neuroaffector junctions. Muscarinic receptors are divided into five subtypes, M1 through M5, based on their pharmacologic properties and molecular structures. The principal subtypes found in most tissues are M1, M2, and M3 receptors. M1 coupled with GQ proteins found in autonomic ganglia, presynaptic nerve terminals, and CNS. Activation stimulates phospholipase C, leading to the formation of inositol triphosphate IP3, and diacylglycerol from membrane phospholipids. Causes modulation of neurotransmission. The M2 receptors found in heart, it is coupled with, G with GI proteins, their activation decreases cyclic adenosine monophosphate CAMP, levels by inhibiting adenylate cyclase, leads to decreased cardiac conduction and heart rate. M3 glandular, found in smooth muscle and glands. It is coupled with GQ proteins and their activation stimulates phospholipase C, leading to the formation of inositol triphosphate IP3. Increased IP3 causes contraction of smooth muscles and stimulation of glandular secretions. In vascular smooth endothelial cells, nitric oxide synthesis is stimulated, leading to vascular smooth muscle relaxation or vasodilation. Nicotinic receptors. Nicotinic receptors are found at all autonomic ganglia, at somatic neuromuscular junctions, and in the central nervous system. These receptors are ligand-gated sodium channels whose activation leads to sodium influx and membrane depolarization. At autonomic ganglia, activation of nicotinic receptors produces excitation of postganglionic neurons leading to the release of neurotransmitters at postganglionic neuroaffector junctions. At junctions of somatic nerves and skeletal muscle, activation of nicotinic receptors depolarizes the motor end plate and leads both to the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum and to the contraction of muscles. In the brain, activation of nicotinic receptors causes excitation of presynaptic and postsynaptic neurons. The acetylcholine receptor agonists can be classified as direct acting or indirect acting. The direct acting agonists bind and activate acetylcholine receptors. Most indirect acting agonists increase the synaptic concentration of acetylcholine by inhibiting cholinesterase, whereas others augment acetylcholine signal transduction. The direct acting agonists include the choline esters, the plant alkaloids, and synthetic drugs called chivimline and varinocline. The choline esters include acetylcholine and synthetic acetylcholine analogues, such as bethanecol and arbacol. The plant alkaloids include muscarine, nicotine, and pilocarpine. Pharmacological effects acetylcholine receptor agonists. Ocular effects. Muscarinic receptor agonists increase lacrimal gland secretion and stimulate contraction of the iris sphincter muscle and the ciliary muscles. Contraction of the iris sphincter muscle produces pupillary constriction, meiosis whereas contraction of the ciliary muscles enables accommodation of the lens to focus on close objects. Respiratory tract effects. Stimulation of muscarinic receptors increases bronchial muscle contraction and causes an increase in the secretion of mucus throughout the respiratory tract. Because muscarinic receptor agonists can cause bronchoconstriction, they should be avoided or used with extreme caution in patients with asthma and other forms of obstructive lung disease. Cardiac effects. Muscarinic receptor agonists decrease impulse formation in the senotrial node by reducing the rate of diastolic depolarization. As a result, they slow the heart rate. Vascular effects. Activation of nitric oxide synthetase and the formation of nitric oxide activates guanyl cyclase to increase the formation of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP, leading to vascular smooth muscle relaxation and vasodilation. Gastrointestinal and urinary tract effects. Muscarinic receptor agonists stimulate salivary, gastric and other secretions in the gastrointestinal tract. They also increase contraction of gastrointestinal smooth muscle, except sphincters by stimulating the enteric nervous system located in the gut wall. This, in turn, increases gastrointestinal motility. 
Whereas muscaric receptor agonists stimulate the bladder detrusor muscle, they relax the internal sphincter of the bladder, and these effects promote emptying of the bladder mercurition. Higher doses of these agonists, therefore, can produce excessive salivation and cause diarrhea, intestinal cramps, and urinary incontinence, the all faucets turned on syndrome. Clinical uses acetylcholine receptor agonists. Acetylcholine has limited clinical applications. An ophthalmic solution of acetylcholine available for intraocular use during cataract surgery produces meiosis after extraction of the lens. Bethanecol selectively activates muscarinic receptors and has been used to stimulate bladder or gastrointestinal muscle without significantly affecting heart rate or blood pressure. Bethanecol can be given postoperatively or postpartum to increase bladder muscle tone in patients with non-obstructive neurogenic urinary retention after receiving anesthetics or other drugs administered during childbirth or surgery. Carbacol solution is instilled intraocularly to produce meiosis during ophthalmic surgery, such as cataract surgery and iridectomy. Muscarine has no current medical use. Nicotine is available in chewing gum, transdermal patches, and other products designed for use in smoking cessation programs. Pilocarpine Pilocarpine has greater affinity for muscarinic receptors than for nicotinic receptors, can produce all the effects of muscarinic receptor stimulation. Pilocarpine is a second-line drug for the treatment of chronic open-angle glaucoma, in which it lowers intraocular pressure by increasing the outflow of aqueous humor. It is also used in the treatment of acute angle closure glaucoma, a medical emergency in which blindness can result if the intraocular pressure is not lowered immediately. The main side effects of ocular pilocarpine administration are decreased night vision, which is caused by meiosis, and difficulty in focusing on distant objects, which occurs because the lens is accommodated for close vision. In patients with xerostomia, dry mouth, pilocarpine is administered orally to stimulate salivary gland secretion. Chivimline is a synthetic direct-acting muscarinic receptor agonist that is administered orally to treat dry mouth in patients who have had radiation therapy for head and neck cancer and patients with Sjogren syndrome. Share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.